exclusive contract novel from Felu Novel Network. I sell elves in my Mu Bai, you said this red fox sells for 20,000 yuan, which is too expensive, right? Naruto pointed to the crimson sound in his arms, and the cute six-tailed creature spoke in disbelief. Naruto's stomach was sealed with nine tails. Ha ha ha, six tails. This is six tails. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing to death. Six tails, do you know what you look like, ha ha ha. Mubai said, Naruto, six-tailed is not an ordinary spirit beast, it is a Pokemon. These six tails are cultivated, but they are not inferior to any medium ninja. After evolving to the nine tails, their strength can even keep up with ninja's moves. If cultivated well, they can even be comparable to film-level powerhouses. Just now, Joey, who was still mocking recklessly, immediately changed his face in Sichuan opera and said, Joey. Are you thinking I'm dead? I'm Joey XXXX. Mubai, who has traveled to the world of Hokage, has obtained the Pokemon system and is preparing to bring this magical creature to the entire world of Hokage. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 I Sell Elves in Kiba You are listening at NovelFull.audio My Village, Ha. Huh? If I remember correctly, this is Mubai's ninja shop, isn't it? Is this a renovated one? Or has it been transferred? Seeing the brand new storefront in front of him, Red Bean tilted his head and used a bamboo stick to thread a ball into his mouth, muttering softly. After the storefront was renovated, it still looks good, but what does it mean when the previous Mubai Ninja Shop was renamed as Pokemon Pokemon Home? What is Pokemon? Does it sound like a ninja beast? Mubai wants to sell ninja beasts. Stop selling ninja tools. Or did Mubai really transfer the store? Forget it, everyone is here. Let's go in and take a look. Mubai. Are you there? I'm here. Red Bean is not someone who likes to be conflicted, so he pushed open the door of the Elf Encyclopedia Dream House and shouted. Red Beans, it's you. Welcome. Seeing his friend Hongdo arriving at the store, Mu Bai's face also showed a smile and greeted him. Seeing familiar figures and hearing her own familiar voice, Red Bean couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief in her heart. Standing in front of Red Bean, Mu Bai is a handsome and simple dressed boy, about the same age as Red Bean. But he has a very comfortable temperament, which makes people involuntarily want to get close. Yes, Mu Bai is a traveler who traveled to the world of Hokage, similar to Chimu Kakashi and Hong from the same period. Perhaps due to his pregnancy, Mubai did not have much talent as a ninja and could only drop out of ninja school. So after dropping out of ninja school, Mubai opened a ninja shop to make a living. Until yesterday, Mubai suddenly obtained the system, which directly transformed Mubai's ninja shop into the current Pokemon home, Mubai, you are renovating your ninja shop. The changes are quite significant, but what are you planning to sell? Red Bean looked curiously at the renovated storefront. The storefront space is similar to before, but all the counters where ninja tools were placed have been removed, making it look very clean and refreshing at first glance. The ninja counter has been removed, and Red Bean is naturally aware that Mu Bai may not be doing ninja business anymore. Just Pokemon it sounds like a ninja beast from the name, but there's not a single ninja beast in the store. Is it true that Pokemon are not ninja beasts? Did she guess wrong? At the thought of this, Red Bean became even more curious. That's right, I no longer sell ninja tools, but a very special ninja beast called Pokemon. Mu Bai greeted Red Bean to the resting area and said kindly. Mu Bai did not deny the term ninja beast. After all, there is no Pokemon in this world and it's too difficult to explain them directly. So, first use the name Ninja Beast to sell Pokemon. Once everyone is familiar with Pokemon, naturally, they won't consider Pokemon to be Ninja Beasts. 
Pokemon. Ninja beasts. But you don't have anything here, do you? Looking at the empty surroundings, Red Bean again put a ball into his mouth with a bamboo stick, while whispering roast. Then you will know. Speaking of red beans, do you want to buy a sprite to go back and take a look? I guarantee you will never regret it. Noticing that Red Bean was somewhat interested, Mu Bai smiled and looked at Red Bean, who was likely to become his first customer. Mu Bai and Hongdo got to know each other when they were at ninja school, and they can be said to have known each other for a long time. During this period, the royal hand washed red beans were still very beautiful, with delicate faces and wearing special scaled armor clothing yes, that's a special scale armor garment with strong protective effects, not a so. Called hollow fishing net suit. As early as at the ninja school, Mubai was curious and had once pinched the scaly armor of red beans with his hand, confirming that it was not a so dot called fishing net. As for the consequences, well, Mubai and Hongdo have become very good friends. During this period, Hongdo still had a very slim figure, unlike during the period of Bo Ren Zhuan, who had already gained weight and become an old lady looking at the red beans taking meatballs one by one, Mu Bai felt it was necessary to kindly remind the other party. Ninja Beast I don't feel like I need it, Mu Bai. You should know that I have spiritual beasts. After taking another bite of the meatball, Red Bean shook his head and spoke up. Red Bean studied under Orochimaru. Although Orochimaru is now rebellious, Red Bean still signed a spiritual beast contract with Longdi Cave. Even many of Red Bean's ninjutsu techniques are related to snakes. Red Beans do not believe they need to purchase ninja beasts. Of course I know you have spirit beasts, but Pokemon are different from what you imagine. Trust me, you will fall in love with them. After all, Pokemon are the most unique and special ninja beasts that have never appeared in this world. Mu Bai chuckled lightly and said confidently. Chapter 2 Elf Illustrated Guide, Open Drawing You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Very confident, you. Swallowing the last meatball, Red Bean also threw the bamboo skewers and plastic bowl into the nearby trash can. My requirements are very high, if they don't satisfy me. As Red Bean spoke, he also wanted to wrap his arm around Mu Bai's neck however, Mu Bai's height is significantly higher than that of Red Bean, and it is not easy to do this action. Although Red Bean is almost 1.7 meters tall, it is still slightly shorter than Mu Bai's nearly 1.9 meters tall. Moreover, as a ninja, Red Bean does not wear high heels. However, at this moment, Mu Bai also timely and gently bent down, letting Red Bean embrace him. Upon discovering that Mu Bai was so knowledgeable about current affairs, Red Bean's face also showed a brilliant smile. Well, for the sake of your understanding of current affairs, even if that Pokemon is not very good, I will pay to buy it. Red Bean's heart also said. You should also change this bad habit. Every time you make me bend over, it's exhausting. Mu Bai also chuckled lightly, looking at Red Bean up close and speaking. At this moment, Mu Bai is only a dozen centimeters away from Red Bean. At such a close distance, Mu Bai can clearly see every inch of Red Bean's skin. Clear and bright pupils, curved willow eyebrows, long eyelashes trembling slightly, fair and flawless skin exuding a faint blush, and thin lips delicate and dripping like rose petals. It's really worthy of being a character in the anime. The skin is really free of any flaws. Mu Bai couldn't help but sigh in his heart. When Mu Bai sighed in his heart, Red Bean was also marveling at Mu Bai's handsomeness. Standing by Mu Bai's side, the Red Beans didn't even need to inhale deliberately. A light and refreshing fragrance came naturally, with a warm and comfortable feeling. Perhaps this is also the reason why Red Bean has always been good friends with Mu Bai, who couldn't become a ninja, right? Cut, who made you grow so tall? You were shorter than me back then. Hongdo is also a bit dissatisfied. When she was at ninja school, Mu Bai was not as tall as her. However, as time passed, Mu Bai grew taller and taller, now half a head higher than Red Bean. 
We agreed to grow taller together, but who knew you wouldn't grow by half? Mu Bai also joked and said. My height is perfect, okay. It's because you're too tall. Red Bean said angrily. Indeed, in the environment of Mu Yi, there are very few people who are over 1.8 meters tall, let alone Mu Bai, who is almost 1.9 meters tall. Among the leaves of wood, Mu Bai's height really stands out among the crowd. All right, I'm not joking anymore. Would you like to take a look at the newly released Pokemon in my store? With a smile, Mu Bai also spoke up. Sure, but I agreed first. If you're not satisfied, I won't buy it. Red Bean also let go of the Mu Bai and said with a hint of ferocity. Just that way, it didn't give people a sense of ferocity, but rather a bit cute. Don't worry, you will definitely be satisfied. Mubai confidently said, then took out a tablet and handed it to Hongdo. What is this? Red Bean curiously took the tablet and asked. This is an elf guidebook, as the name suggests, which records all varieties of Pokémon. At present, all Pokémon are randomly selected and cannot be selected. Sensing the puzzled expression on Red Bean's face, Mubai also spoke up to explain. Your ninja beast shop is not big. There are many different styles, right? But is it necessary? Randomly draw. There are still many types of Pokemon on this elf. What should I do if I don't get what I want? The red bean could not help but open her mouth and roast. There are really many types of Pokemon, and I have always believed in fate, which is why this form was created. You can draw five times a day, and then choose to buy or not buy enough. Yi Tingbai smiled and also spoke up. That's what I said, but in reality, it's just that we can only randomly draw, and we can only randomly draw five times a day. Why do we have to do this? There's no way, the system can only sell Pokemon like this, and Yi Tingbai can't change it either, so we can only use the art of language to slightly embellish it. It's all flashy. However, it is obvious that Red Bean's personality is not very receptive to this kind of behavior. So what? What should I do? Roast belongs to Roast. For the first time, Red Bean is very interested in the fairy atlas. After all, in this era, there are no such things as computers, let alone tablets. The elf guidebook is not much different from a tablet. Red Bean, who was in contact with the tablet for the first time, rudely clicked on the Go button in the Elf Guidebook. Although I don't understand what Go means, the only icon that can be clicked on in the Pokémon Guide now is this one. After clicking on the icon, the screen of the Pokémon Guide slides rapidly, with black shadows sliding rapidly on the screen. Although it is black, the various shapes of the shadows still make Red Bean very curious. Chapter 3 Abe Snake, Disdainful Red Bean you are listening at NovelFull.audio. These black shadows, some like common ninja dogs, some like toads, snakes, and slugs in the three sacred sites, and some even resemble humans. Is it true that there are spiritual beasts or humans from the three major holy sites in this guidebook? Red beans complain roast. After a few seconds, the black shadow slowly froze. Not only the red beans, but also the Mu Bai curiously peeked over. I don't know what magical treasures red beans will draw. So, Mu Bai, the surprise you're talking about is this purple little snake. Looking at the gradually clear picture, red bean could not help roast. What is shown in the picture is a small purple snake. It has yellow eyes, round eyes, and straight pupils. Its mouth is very large, and its body near the head has yellow circular patterns, with black fine stripes in other areas. The tip of its tail is made of yellow particles. Seeing the Pokémon in the picture, Mu Bai's expression was also somewhat strange. He also didn't expect that the first red bean he drew was actually an ape snake. However, when I think about it, it actually fits quite well. After all, Red Bean is an expert in playing snakes, and drawing arbor snakes can be said to be a professional match. Just looking at the appearance of the Red Beans, 
it is obvious that they are not satisfied with the Abe snake they have drawn. Now the look in Red Bean's eyes at Mu Bai conveys this message. That's it, that's it. What kind of purple snake? It's called the Abe snake, a type of Pokemon. Mu Bai also said without good temper. Speaking of the Abe snake, it also left a profound influence on Mu Bai. After all, in anime, that is one of Musashi's signature elves, and the evolved Abe monster accompanied Mubai for many of his childhood. I don't care what kind of Abe snake it is or what kind of snake it is. Isn't this just a snake? I even signed a contract with Lomdi Cave. I'll have as many snakes as I want. Red Bean's face showed a look of disdain and he also spoke up. Upon hearing Red Bean's words, Mu Bai was also somewhat dumbfounded. After all, Red Bean is also an expert in playing with snakes, and the image of Abe's snake is not particularly outstanding. It is normal that Red Bean was not able to attract them. Fart, it seems like you can telepathize and produce such powerful snakes. When you cultivate the Abe snake, it will be much more powerful than the garbage snakes you telepathize with. Upon hearing how much Red Bean despised the Abe snake, Mu Bai became somewhat unhappy and spoke up. Although Red Bean has signed a contract with Longdi Cave, it is all thanks to the blessing of Orochimaru. But only two of you, Big Snake Maru, can telepathize to produce snakes like Wan Snake, let alone Red Bean. The snakes that come out of Red Bean's teleportation are all small snakes at the edge of the Dragon Cave, with little power. Although the race value of Abe snakes and Abe monsters is not as high, and their potential is generally not as abnormal, they are definitely more powerful than those garbage snakes that come out of red bean teleportation. Garbage snake. Oh, hey, Mu Bai, are you talking so loudly? Are you looking down on me for being so intolerant? Red bean's gaze also became somewhat dangerous. If it were someone else mocking the spirit beast of Red Bean like this, Red Bean would probably have punched it long ago. And Mu Bai give him a chance to defend himself. Do you need to smoke again now, or do you need me to take the Abe snake out and take a look? Mu Bai also noticed that Red Bean's tone had become somewhat dangerous, and quickly changed the topic. Draw it again, draw it again, there's no need to take out this Abe snake. Without further investigation into Mu Bai's rude words just now, Red Bean also waved his hand in disgust. Mu Bai also nodded, not surprised. Who makes the appearance of the Abe snake unpleasant? It's actually the Aber monster evolved from the Aber snake, and its appearance is even more pleasing. Without hesitation, Red Bean exited the interface of the Abyssor and then clicked on Go Again on the Elf Guidebook. The black shadow kept flickering on the picture book, and Red Bean's gaze was fixed on it tightly. Although Abe's snake may have disappointed Red Bean a bit, Red Bean is still very interested in what kind of elves these black shadows are. The black shadow gradually froze and became clear. This time, upon seeing the emerging image, Red Bean's eyes lit up. This ninja beast feels good. What kind of ninja beast is it? Red Bean handed the elf guidebook to Mu Bai. Red Bean, your luck is very good. It's called Ting Ting Snake and is a very excellent Pokemon. Mu Bai also smiled lightly at Red Bean. In his heart, Mu Bai also felt a bit magical. He also didn't expect that the red beans he drew twice in a row were actually magical treasures in the form of snakes. Although there are many types of Pokemon, with over 800, there are actually not many Pokemon in snake form. Abe snakes are classified as one type, vine snakes are classified as one type, and the remaining ones are mini dragons, minas, ciprinosaurus, rice spoon snakes, great rock snakes, and Cleopatra. To be honest, there are only eight types of snake-shaped Pokemon. I didn't expect Red Bean to be able to draw twice out of five. Ah, red beans really have a connection with snakes. Chapter 4 Vine Snake, is the vine whip wooden done? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Is it a rotten snake? This is also a snake. It's okay, 
it looks much better than the one just now. A look of interest appeared on Red Bean's face. The Rattan snake is a snake-shaped Pokemon, with most of its body being green, but its abdomen and feet being cream-colored. It has a yellow stripe on its back until its tail, and yellow parts around its eyes. The yellow part around its neck looks like small wings, and from behind it looks like a lily decoration. Although it has the appearance of a snake, it has four limbs and stands on two feet. Its arms are green like its body, with three fingers. Its tail end is a large leaf with three forks. Compared to the previous arbor snake, it is obvious that this vine snake is more in line with the taste of red bean. This is also very normal. Although Red Bean studied under Orochimaru and often interacts with snakes, she is also a girl. Compared to the arbor snake, Red Bean naturally prefers the Pokemon with the appearance of the vine snake. Do you want me to bring out the Rattan snake and show it to you? Mu Bai naturally sensed Red Bean's interest in the vine snake and also spoke up to inquire. Oh. Is that okay? Of course you can. Mu Bai chuckled lightly and then walked towards the compartment inside the store. In just a few seconds, Mu Bai came to Red Bean with an emerald green vine snake in his arms. Is this the one? Red Bean's eyes also lit up, looking at Ting Ting's snake with surprise. The Rat Tan snake is much cuter than what you see in the picture book, with its small arms and watery big eyes full of agility and curiosity. Yes, Ting Ting's snake. Do you like this sister? Mu Bai rubbed the small head of the vine snake and asked with a smile. Sugar. Sugar, sugar. The rattan snake blinked its eyes, then waved its short hand and greeted the red bean with a milky voice. Ah, this rattan snake's call is so unique, like a child. Red bean happily approached the vine snake and picked it up, gently tapping its small head with his fingers. Sugar. Sugar. The rattan snake also babbled and used its small hand to block the red bean's finger. I can understand people's language and have a high IQ, but it seems that I can't speak human language. After teasing the Tingting -ting snake, Hongdo also gave her own judgment. After all, this is the realm of ninja, not the past life of Mubai. It is not particularly unusual for ninja beasts to have extraordinary intelligence. Even many spiritual beasts can speak human words. Although the vine snake does not speak human words, looking at the appearance of the red bean, it is still very satisfied with the vine snake. Yes, the rattan snake is a highly intelligent Pokemon. Although it cannot communicate with you in human language, it can understand the meaning you are expressing. Once your bonds are strong enough, you will also be able to understand the meaning conveyed by the vine snake. And the rattan snake is not just a cute pet, it also has very high growth potential. Mu Bai was already moved by the red beans and calmly began to introduce them. It is not uncommon for ninja beasts to have combat power in the ninja world, but the Tingting -ting snake is different. Growing up to the level of the Heavenly King Champion, it will definitely not be weaker than ninja. Even at the quasi-shadow level, one can fight. Of course, whether or not it can grow to that level depends on how red beans cultivate vine snakes. The current Tingting -ting snake is still small, and its strength is not as strong. However, according to previous games, the Tingting -ting snake produced by the system has an individual qualification of 6v, with the potential to be a guaranteed king. Really? I still have a little anticipation. Red Bean raised an eyebrow and also spoke up. Ting Ting Snake, perform a performance for Red Bean using a cane whip. Mu Bai chuckled lightly and casually threw the tissue next to him. Sugar. The Ting Ting Snake's eyes suddenly became a bit sharp, and then two vines emerged from the Ting Ting Snake's body, although a whip caught the tissue. It's the Rattan Whip. However, I was stunned at this moment as I didn't know that the vine whip was just a low dot level move with grass attributes. Sleeping trough. Mu Dun. This green two legged snake. Surprisingly, he can run away with wood. 
If the previous red bean just had a playful attitude and saw Mu Bai say that the potential of the vine snake was very high, then now red bean really thinks that the potential of the vine snake is very high. After all, that's Mu Dun, it is the first generation of Hokage in Kiba, the signature bloodstain between the thousand-handed pillars of the god of ninja. The admiration for Mu Dun can be said to be engraved in the bones of every Kanoha ninja. And now, this Pokemon named Tingting Snake actually knows how to escape. At this moment, Red Bean felt that all three of his values had been challenged. Fortunately, Red Bean is not the kind of person who likes to delve deeper, and his personality is even more carefree. After regaining his senses, Red Bean's gaze towards the vine snake became increasingly fond. This rattan snake is perfect for her. Tingting Snake you're so amazing. Red Beans couldn't help but praise. Chapter 5 50W, It's a Bit Expensive You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sugar Upon hearing Red Beans praise, Tingting Snake squinted her big eyes, slightly raised her chin, and looked proud. That kind of very humane and proud emotion makes Red Bean feel loved. You're so cute, my vine snake. Red Bean also picked up the vine snake and kept rubbing its cheek with his face. Knowing that the vine snake couldn't bear the sound of begging for mercy, Red Bean finally let go. By the way, Mu Bai, what's going on with the Mu Dun used by the Tingting -ting snake? What kind of spiritual beast is a rattan snake? Do all the rattan snakes over there know how to escape? After releasing the vine snake, Red Bean also curiously asked Mu Bai. Upon hearing Red Bean's inquiry, Mu Bai was also taken aback. In fact, when Mu Bai asked the Tingting -ting Snake to use the cane whip, he really didn't think so much. However, upon hearing Red Bean talk about Mu Dun, Mu Bai regained his senses. This vine whip really had the shadow of Mu Dun. Of course, compared to the wooden escape between the thousand-handed pillars, the current Rattan Snake's whip is far inferior. The Rattan Snake is a Pokémon with grass attributes, and although the Rattan whip just now looks like a wooden escape, it is not actually a wooden escape, but a move with grass attributes. In addition to the Rattan whip, the Rattan Snake also grows and comprehends other grass attribute moves, but it may not necessarily be a wooden escape. Dot. After some thought, Mu Bai also spoke up and said there are many moves with grass attributes, such as rattan whips, green grass mixers, and parasitic seeds, which look quite like a wooden escape. But moves like super absorption and ultimate absorption have nothing to do with Mu Dun. Grass attribute moves. Although I haven't heard of this term, as the name suggests, red beans probably understand what it means. That's right, the grass attribute move, just like our ninja's five attributes of water, fire, earth, thunder, and wind, Pokemon also has different attributes, and the grass attribute is one of them. Mu Bai also spoke concisely. In this analogy, red beans naturally understand what grass attributes mean. Is it so magical? Grass attribute, this kind of spiritual beast is also very interesting. You should know that Mu Dun is one of the top bloodline successors in our ninja realm. What attributes did that Abe snake have just now? Red beans couldn't help but sigh. That's because the first generation was too strong. Mu Bai also couldn't help roast. Whether Mu Dun is strong or not depends on who is using it. As the saying goes, in the early days, Mu Dun dominated the world, while the He Mu Dun focused on greening. The strong ones are not Mu Dun, but the first generation. Far-fetched, but it surprised Mu Bai that Red Bean was able to understand grass attribute moves so quickly without feeling surprised. Mu Bai thought Red Bean would be struggling for a while. However, considering the personality of Red Bean, it is also reasonable. Red Beans themselves have a carefree and carefree personality. That was not an Abe snake just now, it's an Abe snake. It's a Pokémon with poisonous properties. Mu Bai also corrected the way Red Bean referred to the Abe Snake. Although Red Bean didn't show much interest in Abe Snake just now, is it possible that he will become interested now? 
ABA snake, just ABA snake, don't worry about those details. Poison attribute. Poison can also form its own attribute. It's really a unique attribute classification. After hearing that Abe's snake has a poisonous attribute, Red Bean lost interest again. After all, for red beans, venomous snakes are also quite common ninja beasts. Moreover, the appearance of the Aberdeen snake does not quite conform to Red Bean's wishes, so Red Bean really has no idea about the Aberdeen snake. It seems that you really like rotten snakes. Mu Bai also turned the topic back. Yes, I really like this rotten snake. Although it may not be as exaggerated as the eyes turning into hearts, how could Red Bean refuse a vine snake that can run away? Although Mu Bai has already said that Vine Whip is a grass attribute move, in the eyes of Red Bean, it is just a different way of saying that it is a wooden escape. All right, all right, Mu Bai, how much does this rotten snake cost? Red Beans also asked about it. As long as you are satisfied, the quality of this rotten snake is very excellent, so the price is 50W. Seeing that the first business was about to be completed, Mu Bai's face also showed a bright smile and he spoke up. 50W, that's the reward for an A.level task. Mu Bai, you really dare to speak up. Upon hearing this price, Red Bean's joyful expression also stiffened, and his expression became somewhat uneasy. Although Red Beans are not unaffordable at this price, they don't like to be slaughtered as fish. Red beans, this price is not expensive anymore. Think about it, this is a ninja beast that can use Mu Dun. It's already very cheap for 50,000 yuan, isn't it? Mu Bai's smile remained unchanged and he also spoke up. Red beans hesitated at the sound of words. It seems that that's also the truth. If the outside world knows that there is a ninja beast that can use Mu Dun, then a large number of people will definitely come waving money to buy the Tingting -ting Snake. Chapter 6 This energy block tastes good. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Sugar The Rotan Snake also looked at the Red Bean with its watery big eyes, and the Red Bean's heart softened. Can't it be cheaper? For the sake of knowing each other for so long. Although it was determined to awaken and by the tinting snake, being able to negotiate, Red Bean naturally also wanted to negotiate. Red Beans, to be honest, my store is not well known now, that's why tinting snake sells so cheap. I have already given you a discount. After a while, if you want to buy tinting snake, it won't be $50W, but $500W. Mu Bai also spoke without hesitation. Mu Bai is right. In order to establish the name of Pokemon Home earlier, all Pokemon will be sold at a 10% discount within this month. One month later, Pokemon will restore its original price. At that time, Tingting Ting Snake sold for 500W. Of course, more importantly, if you miss this opportunity and want to buy a Rotten Snake again in the future, it depends on whether you have the luck to draw another Rotten Snake. A discount, that's okay. 50W is enough. Red Bean pondered for a moment and agreed with the final decision. In fact, the price of ninja beasts is not low. The Inazuka family has opened a ninja beast shop, and the ninja beasts inside are almost tens of thousands or even tens of thousands. The Tingting -ting Snake is so much better than the ninja beast dog of the Inazuka family, it looks like it costs more than 50,000 yuan. With this thought, Red Bean felt comfortable in his heart. Confirmed to buy Ting Ting Snake, Red Bean was also unequivocal and took out 50,000 yuan from his wallet. Mu Bai also took the money and helped Red Bean tidy up some things. Alright, now the Ting Ting Snake is yours. This is the first time you have purchased two boxes of energy blocks as a gift from Pokemon. These blocks are favored by Pokemon with grass attributes. Of course, rotten snakes can also eat ordinary food with you without any problem. However, in order for rotten snakes to grow better, it is necessary to have grass attribute energy blocks. Mu Bai also put two boxes of energy blocks into a bag and handed them to Red Bean. 
Energy blocks. Haven't you heard of them before? What kind of thing? Red Bean raised his eyebrows and opened one of the energy blocks, which was filled with small green blocks. Red Beans took out one and sniffed it. A pleasant fragrance pours into the heart and spleen, and when pinched, it feels like jelly. Sugar, sugar. After seeing the energy cube, Tinting Snake's eyes lit up even more. This is a type of tree fruit that has been specially processed and made. You can also try it, it tastes good. Mu Bai saw the eager red beans and also spoke up. Red beans, but a foodie girl who loves desserts so much, otherwise she wouldn't have gained weight by eating too many desserts during the period of Bo Ren Zhuan. Upon hearing Mu Bai's words, Hongdo didn't hesitate to pick up a square that could connect and put it into her mouth. Sour and sweet, the taste is good, but it cannot be compared to meatballs and red bean soup. Red beans also spoke up and commented. That's for sure, it's not made for you to eat. The energy blocks are specifically designed for Pokemon. When Mubai saw the red bean, he could not help but complain about it. Sugar sugar. Tingting Snake saw Red Bean eating an energy cube, and her saliva was about to leave. She also waved her hands in a babbling manner, indicating that she wanted to eat it too. Okay, here you are, let's see how greedy you are. As Red Bean teased and spoke, he handed the remaining energy blocks to the Vine Snake. Sugar Sugar Tingting Snake happily ate the energy cube, with a happy expression on her face, which made Red Bean and Mu Bai feel much better. Do you think energy blocks help the growth of rattan snakes? What's going on? Red Bean also asked curiously. The energy cube contains the nutrients required for the growth of rattan snakes, which are not found in ordinary food. So energy blocks are helpful for the growth of rattan snakes. Mu Bai explained. The growth of Pokemon is related to various aspects, such as the cultivation of trainers, the qualifications of Pokemon themselves, and the intake of nutrients. The energy cube was originally made from the tree fruits of the elf world, while the fire shadow world does not have those tree fruits. The production of energy blocks is only provided by the system, and naturally requires payment. Also, do you want to equip this elf guidebook? Speaking, Mu Bai also took out an elf guidebook from the counter and asked Red Bean about it. Elf Guide Isn't this the one I used when selecting elves just now? Red Bean blinked curiously. Yes, this is the elf guidebook. The selection just now was just one of the functions of the elf guidebook. The drunken effect of the elf guidebook is to accurately know the information of the Pokémon. If the elf guidebook is aimed at the elves, it can accurately obtain the information of the elves. Mu Bai introduced a sentence and then aimed the elf guidebook at the vine snake still feasting on it. Under the curious gaze of Red Bean, he pressed the button. Chapter 7 Elf Illustrated Guide, The Contrary Vine Snake You are listening at NovelFull.audio D Vine Snake, Grass Attribute Grass snake pake mon characteristic. Sing the opposite tone, the change in ability is reversed, it will decrease when originally improved, but it will increase when originally decreased. Top moves. Impact, stare, vine whip, tornado vine snake, grass snake pake mon. Always remain calm and not swayed by anything, using the leaves on the tail for photosynthesis to generate energy a sound of electronic machinery echoed from the elf guidebook. Eh. Red Bean and Mu Bai both let out a sigh at the same time. Is this the basic information of a rattan snake? Its characteristics. Its ultimate move. What does this mean? Red Bean blinked, his eyes full of interest. Mu Bai was very curious that the vine snake actually had a tornado move. The tornado move is the only way that the vine snake can master it, and it is also the only dragon attribute move that the vine snake can master, which can be considered relatively rare. Moreover, the characteristic of this rattan snake is a hidden characteristic that goes against the norm. Do you sing the opposite tune? I understand everything, and when combined with Fey Storm, 
it can be said that the more you fight, the stronger it becomes, and the more you fight, the more outrageous it becomes. The characteristic of singing a counterpoint can reverse the change in ability, with a decrease when originally improved and an increase when originally decreased. After using Phase Storm, its special attack will be significantly reduced due to the reaction force. Due to its rebellious nature, after using Phase Storm, its own characteristics can be significantly reduced, resulting in a significant increase. In the past life of Mu Bai, many people wrote in novels that their vine snakes had mastered the Dragon Attribute Meteor Group, which is even more outrageous. The Meteor Swarm can be said to be the flying leaf storm of Dragon Attribute moves, and the effects are understandable. However, in reality, Rot 10 snakes are unable to control Meteor Clusters. The only Dragon Attribute move that Rot 10 snakes can master is Tornado, and it is also mastered through the Egg move. A characteristic is equivalent to a passive ability, a special ability that every Pokémon possesses. Like a Rotten Snake, there are two characteristics. Lush characteristics and hidden characteristics that go against each other, and you, the Rotten Snake, are the opposite of hidden characteristics. As for the ultimate move, it is the move that Tingting Snake has now comprehended, as shown in these guidebooks. The Elf Guidebook records most of the information about the Rotten Snake. If you don't understand anything, you can simply search for it in the guidebook. Do you need to equip one? Mu Bai smiled and then asked. The Elf Guidebooks sold by Mu Bai are not recorded, and users need to unlock the corresponding Pokémon to view the information of the Elves. Just like in the game of Mu Bai's past life. However, once the information is unlocked, there will be corresponding Pokémon information inside, which is very detailed. Okay, then give me one, and also give me ten boxes of the Grass Attribute Energy Block just now. Although there were still many things I didn't understand, Red Bean waved his hand and spoke up. Sugar Sugar Upon hearing Red Bean buying himself Energy Blocks, Tingting Snake also danced happily, her eyes filled with longing. Follow me, I'm sure you'll enjoy it and drink spicy food. Red Bean rubbed the small head of the vine snake and smiled broadly. A thousand tales of elf guidebooks, a box of 500 tales of high dot quality energy blocks, totaling 6,000 tales. Mu Bai took out 10 boxes of energy blocks with grass attributes from the counter and handed them to Red Bean. Give, give, really, as an old friend, can't we offer even more discounts? Red Bean glanced at Mu Bai, then took out a thousand tails from his wallet and handed them to Mu Bai. Red Beans usually don't have a high demand for money, and the vast majority of the money spent on tasks is spent on Red Beans buying meatballs and eating Red Bean soup. This is the first time that Red Bean has spent so much money besides a large dot scale update of Ninja Tools. The price has already been discounted by half. What else do you want? Is it free to send? Mu Bai also said helplessly. Tingting Snake is indeed one of the three royal families of Hejong, with great potential, let alone the rebellious Tingting Snake. The ultimate evolved monarch snake is not only good dot looking, but also very powerful, and will even be stronger than Red Bean itself in the future. After all Red Beans are just a special tolerance now. The potential of elves is beyond the imagination of current red beans. Free, is that okay? Sure, unless one day you become the landlady. Mubai also glanced at Hongdo, with such thick skin. You've thought too much, who wants to be your boss's wife? Red beans pretended to be disgusted, but a slight blush appeared on their cheeks. That's to say, I got the tinting snake today and I'm in a good mood. I won't argue with you, otherwise you'll know. Red Bean also waved his small fist and threatened, saying. Yes, yes, so you still have three more chances to draw Pokémon today. Do you want to draw again? In addition to the Rotten Snake, there are also many elves that are not inferior to the Rotten Snake. Mu Bai doesn't care either. This kind of conversation has happened many times before, but before this was a ninja shop, and Mu Bai sold ninja tools. Now it's just a sprite. Chapter 8 Novice Task Completion, 
Reward Settlement. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Crawling for sister, you're just a kid who specifically caught me pulling wool, right? Although a little excited, Red Bean is still very distressed when he thinks that he has spent more than 500,000 yuan today. More than 500,000 tails, equivalent to several B.level tasks, even the lowest paid A.level task is only 150,000 tails. 500,000 tails, enough for red beans to eat for several years with meatballs and red bean soup. In the short term, red bean has no intention of buying Pokemon again. Mu Bai also expressed great understanding of this. After all, the Rattan snake has not yet fully demonstrated its magic, so its attraction is naturally not that great. After the Pokemon fully demonstrate their magic, I'm afraid Red Bean will condemn the rule of only being able to randomly draw five Pokemon per day. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. This is a Pokemon ball, a prop for capturing or carrying Pokemon. Different types of Pokemon balls also have different special effects. Do you think you need to buy a Red Bean for Tinting Snake? Mu Bai ignored Red Bean's condemnation and asked with a smile. Elf Ball Red Bean inquires curiously. Yes, after all, not every Pokémon has a body size as small as a vine snake. Pokémon balls can collect Pokémon, making them easy to carry. Each Pokémon ball is like Pokémon bedroom, where Pokémon can rest. Mu Bai nodded and spoke. After all, this world is the world of ninjas, and there are seals and scrolls, and items like Pokemon balls can appear without being too abrupt. If it were in the ordinary world, Mubai would not have launched items like Pokemon balls at this time. Of course, the biggest function of Pokemon is to capture wild Pokemon, but there are no wild Pokemon in this world. So for the time being, the function of Pokemon is to carry Pokemon and provide them with a place to live. I see, then give me one. Since everyone has already bought the Tinting Snake, Red Bean naturally won't hesitate to buy the Pokemon Ball. There are many types of Pokemon Balls, and for my part, I suggest you purchase a Luxury Ball, which is the most suitable Pokemon Ball for living. Mu Bai smiled and then spoke up. Luxury Ball Yes, there are many types of Pokemon Balls. A regular Pokemon Ball costs 1000 tails, while a luxury ball costs 10,000 tails. It is the most suitable Pokemon ball for Tinting Snake to live in. Mu Bai nodded and explained. You're such a unscrupulous businessman, give me a luxurious ball. Red Bean remained speechless for a moment, and then he added a luxurious ball to the Tinting Snake. How do I use this luxury ball? After buying the luxury ball, Red Bean also asked. It's simple. Just aim at the Tinting Snake and press the button in the middle. Mu Bai said, Tinting Snake, don't resist later. The probability of Pokemon being captured by Pokemon is not 100%, unless the Pokemon themselves do not resist. Sugar Sugar Tinting Snake was also very obedient. After Red Bean clicked the button in the middle of the luxury ball, Tinting Snake transformed into a light and swooped into the elf ball. Wow, that's okay, this precious ball. Although a bit surprised, Red Bean quickly accepted the luxurious ball effect. So how do we make the Rattan Snake come out? Just press the button in the middle of the luxury ball again, and of course, Tinting Snake can also take the initiative to come out. So, Vine Snake, come out. Red Bean pressed the button in the middle of the luxurious ball and whispered softly. Subsequently, accompanied by a bright light projected onto the ground, the vine snake reappeared in front of Red Bean. Sugar Sugar Tinting Snake looked happy, obviously very satisfied with the environment inside the luxury ball. Goodbye, welcome to our next visit. Remember to introduce more customers to me. I won't help you promote it, you black shop. Red Bean also made a funny face for Mu Bai and left with Tinting Snake. Originally, Red Bean just wanted to buy some ninja gear, 
but now he didn't buy any ninja gear and spent over 500,000 yuan to buy a rotten snake and a series of matching items. Now she needs to go to another ninja shop to see and add new ninja items. Farewell to the red beans, and Mu Bai also returned to the store. How smooth. I didn't expect the first customer to be red beans. Mu Bai stretched lazily, his face full of smiles. That's right, Mu Bai is a traveler who has been in the world of Hokage for over a decade. When Mu Bai first crossed over, he still had expectations for the existence of the system, but after so many years, he had already accepted the fact that he did not have a system. But unexpectedly, just yesterday, Mubai activated the system, which directly transformed Mubai's ninja shop into Pokemon Home. And Red Bean, on the other hand, was the first customer received by Pokemon Home, which can be said to have made a good start. System, settle the beginner task now. Returning to the store, Mubai also took a sip of water and then said to the system. Novice task. Successfully sold the first Pokemon and completed the task. Reward settlement in progress. Chapter 9. Ability Synchronization, Punishing Hooper. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Congratulations to the host for winning an unlimited lottery once, and being able to obtain all the abilities and strength of the Pokemon drawn. The sound of the system echoed in Mu Bai's mind. Is there a chance that Face Arceus can win the unlimited level lottery? If I draw Arceus, wouldn't I be able to acquire his abilities and become invincible directly? Mu Bai touched his chin and also inquired. In theory, there is a chance, but the system suggests that the host should not think too much, as the probability of drawing Arceus from nearly 900 Pokémon is extremely small the sound of the system rang out again in Mu Bai's mind. Well, there must be some hope. Let's start the lottery. Mu Bai chuckled lightly and then gave instructions. As soon as the phantom of the turntable appeared in front of Mu Bai, the entire turntable was divided into over 800 parts, each with a different Pokémon painted on it. More importantly, the divided areas vary in size. Upon a rough inspection by Mu Bai, even the area of the phantom beast is truly pitiful, let alone the Alzeus that Mu Bai had just fantasized about. Mu Bai couldn't even find the area on the turntable with Arceus painted on it. What a pit, won't you give me any green caterpillars in the end? Mu Bai couldn't help but curse inwardly. This lottery can synchronize strength, and if possible, Mu Bai naturally hopes to draw some more powerful Pokémon. After all, this is the world of Hokage. Without strength, there is no right to speak. Even if you stay in Kiba, you may be affected by the battles of the strong. What Mu Bai urgently needs now is the strength to protect himself. The lottery begins the spinning wheel began to rotate continuously, and the phantom kept shaking one by one. In the end, it stopped, and Mu Bai's face also showed a hint of joy. Congratulations, Master. You have drawn Hoopa, in the form of punishment, lying down, I actually drew a Hooper. Upon seeing the final appearance of the phantom, Mu Bai's pupils shrank and a joyful expression appeared on his face. He took the luxurious ball that suddenly appeared in the air. At the same time, a force also surged into Mu Bai's body. Hooper, known as the halo of the super demon god, is officially classified as the phantom Pokémon. Yes, it is the phantom Pokémon, which is parallel to the legendary Pokémon and is often classified as a legend. Hoopa is also one of the strongest among all the mythical beasts. No, to be more precise, among all the mythical beasts, except for the slightly buggy one, the strongest one should be Hoopa. That's right, this even includes three top-dot-level first-level gods. Dream, Lokia, and Phoenix King. Hoopa has two forms, one is a punishment form sealed with power, and the other is a liberation form with full firepower. The punishment form of Hooper is a mischievous Pokémon, while the liberation form of Hooper is a demon god Pokémon. From this description, it is clear how powerful the liberation of Hoopa was. Even in the theatrical version, Jifong Hoopa can play the ordinary form of Gaioka alone, 
while Gula Duo plays. At the same time, he also easily defeated Black Dragon Chekislam, White Dragon Lysalam, and Pillar King Reggie Chikas. You should know that Gaioka, Guladu, Chekislam, Lesalam, and Reggie Chikas are all reliable first level gods. It can be said that the combat effectiveness of liberating Hoopa is definitely at the top of the first level gods. Of course, punishing Hooper was not as powerful as liberating Hooper because he was sealed of his power. But having the spatial ability of the cavalry Ladina, which is comparable to the god of space, is enough to make Punish Hooper stand at the top of the second level gods. Being able to draw a Punishment Hooper, Mu Bai can be said to be very satisfied. While drawing the Punish Hooper, Mu Bai instantly synchronized the ability and strength of the Punish Hooper. At this moment, Mu Bai felt firsthand the power of punishing Hooper. With a casual wave, a different dimensional hole appeared next to Mu Bai, which was the exclusive ability of Hoopa. In this way, Mu Bai's ability to protect himself has already been established. In addition to punishing Hooper, Mu Bai believes that he already has the capital to stand firm in the world of ninja. Not to mention that Mu Bai still has the system, this is just the first time Mu Bai has activated the system reward. Come out, Hooper. Pressing the button in the center, a white light flashed past, and then a small, pink and gray Pokemon appeared in front of Mu Bai. It has a braid on its head, with two upward curved corners on the side of its head, each with a golden ring hanging from it. It also has a circular pattern at the center of its eyebrows, often maintaining a mischievous smile. It has a pink V. Shaped pattern on its belly. It has two short, detached arms floating in the air. It has a third golden ring around its waist, no lower limbs, and below the ring is a small gray tail. That's right, a punishment hooper appeared in front of Yi Tingbai. Are you my trainer, Lao Lao? Punish hooper curiously and approach Yi Tingbai, with a childish and mischievous voice. Chapter 10 Young Naruto. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. That's right, Punish Hooper is a talking Pokemon with a high IQ, and can be considered a normal person for communication. Hello, Hoopa, I'm Mu Bai. We'll be family from now on. Please give me more guidance. Mu Bai leaned forward slightly and greeted Hoopa kindly. Family. Family. Please give me more guidance in the future, hee hee. I'm so happy, Hooper also has a family. Feeling Mu Bai's friendliness, Hoopa was momentarily taken aback, then a big smile appeared on his face, and his small gray tail swayed excitedly. That's right, we'll be family from now on. Come on, have some energy cubes. Mu Bai also took out energy blocks with superpower and ghost attributes from the counter and handed them to Hoopa. Thank you, Hooper really likes it, very much. Hooper took the energy cube, took a bite, and his smile grew even stronger. Unlike the powerful unsealed Hooper, who was sealed with power, the punishing Hooper was more like a mischievous child. Not only in personality, but also in appearance. Especially the mischievous smile hanging from the corner of his mouth, and his tendency to speak with a bit of a mouth twister, all make this punishment hooper appear very mischievous and cute. For such a hooper, Mu Bai is naturally very satisfied. Coming out of the ninja shop, Red Bean also returned to his own home. Ting Ting Snake, we're home now. After arriving home, Red Bean also opened the precious ball and released the rotten snake inside. Sugar Sugar. After the vine snake came out, it also rubbed its own eyes and yawned, as if it had just woken up. After rubbing his eyes, the vine snake also jumped onto Red Bean's shoulder and rubbed against Red Bean's cheek. Ha ha ha, it's a bit itchy. Feeling the intimacy of the vine snake, Red Bean felt his heart melting. Oh my god, how could there be such a cute snake in this world? It's really cute. Red Bean admits that he is not someone with a girl's heart bursting, but at this moment, it is also a girl's heart bursting. At this moment, she even wanted to connect people she knew together and share her happiness with them. Unfortunately, during this period, the technology tree of Kiba was not well developed. 
Although there were also television and movies, there were no telephones or mobile phones. To make contact, either through radio or through special ninjutsu. It's a bit late now, and Ting Ting Snake probably wants to rest too. Hong shouldn't have any tasks during this period. I'll go find Hong tomorrow and show off my rattan snake. Ting Ting Snake, you are so cute. A few days passed by in a flash. The sales of elves were not as smooth as Mubai had imagined. The vast majority of Kiba villagers consider Mubai's shop to be a pet shop or a ninja animal shop. However, in reality, only a small number of ninjas will cultivate ninja beasts, while Kiba villagers who want to buy pets are frightened by the high price of Pokemon. One villager was lucky enough to have drawn a mini dragon, but after inquiring about the price, he left without looking back. After all, many dragons are quasi-divine offspring. Even if they are discounted, they still cost millions or even tens of millions. Thinking of the crazy look on the person's face before he left, Mu Bai believed that he would definitely regret it in the future. After all, that's a mini dragon. A genuine quasi-god cub. Unfortunately, the other party just missed it and felt that the mini dragon was too expensive. Mu Bai could only sigh for himself that the villagers of my had no vision. Brother Mu Bai, I'm here to buy, cool, dot. At that moment, a little boy wearing a white, navy green, and black tea dot shirt with a wooden leaf logo painted on the chest, shorts, and dark green windshields ran in. Naruto. It's you, are you buying cool? Seeing the familiar figure, Mu Bai's lips also carried a smile. That's right, the figure running in was undoubtedly Naruto Vortex. Naruto Vortex has short golden hair, blue pupils, and the most prominent feature is the six whisker like texture on his cheeks. Mubai didn't know if Naruto was born like this, or if it was due to the influence of the nine tailed and nine llamas. At this time, Naruto has not yet graduated from ninja school, but it is estimated that Naruto's graduation assessment will soon be available. Yeah, yes, the graduation assessment is still a few days away, and I'm planning to update myself on my struggles. I will definitely graduate from ninja school, gain everyone's recognition, and become Hokage. Naruto said confidently with a bright smile on his face. Good luck then, but unfortunately, I no longer sell ninja tools. If you want to buy ninja, you have to go to other stores. Mu Bai smiled and then spoke up. Ah. Mu Bai, don't you sell ninja tools anymore? What are you selling in the store now? Upon hearing Mu Bai's words, Naruto was also taken aback and then asked with concern. The news that Naruto is a fox demon is spreading throughout Kiba, which has led to the attitude of Kiba villagers towards Naruto being very bad.